Hi, welcome to Master Medics. Okay, today we're talking about traumatic hemorrhage, and this is the amount of blood that is inside my nine-year-old Bentley here. And so what we're going to be talking about is significant symptoms that we see with that blood loss, because really, when it comes down to it, it's very difficult to determine how much blood is lost by just looking at it. And what I've just kind of poured, which looks like a lot, is actually a class one loss, which is about 15%. And in a 15% loss, we don't really see any symptom changes. Our body compensates for that 15% loss quite well even though I put quite a bit and kind of show that there's a lot to be lost here now once we get into class 2 that's when we start to see symptom changes so when we get to that 15 to 30 percent change that's about 25 percent and then we start getting into this one a little bit there we go, that's 30%. So that is the top end of a class two blood loss. This is when we start to see the changes in the heart rate as it goes up, the changes in the respiratory rate, the changes in the blood pressure slightly, it's gonna compensate okay at this point, but that's the time where we're gonna to start to see changes. When we start to see significant changes and when we start to get over that 30% to the 40%. Once we get to 40%, then it starts to see major changes in the respiratory rate that are above 24 breaths per minute. We see major changes in the heart rate where it goes above 120 beats per minute. And this is where we start to see the blood pressure not able to compensate nearly as well. And once we get above that 40% into the 50% mark of blood loss here, that is when we start to see significant mentation changes. And so we're not gonna be using uh, the spot check of how much blood loss have we lost, we're actually gonna use the symptoms to determine it. So that way we're getting a more accurate idea. And so look for mentation changes to suggest that they've had a significant amount of blood loss or look for heart rates above 120 beats per minute to suggest that they've had significant blood loss. Those are the things that we should look be, be looking for, not for puddles of blood on the ground.